brand specialist here at Atlas, and joining me today is another Ashley. So when you guys are watching this video, it's probably going to be a little further into the cold, chilly season. Um, but right now, happy belated Halloween, because we are in Salem, Massachusetts. Today we are going to drink some kind of local wine from Hardwick, Massachusetts, so not too far from here. Do you want to talk a little bit about what you do? Because I think it's super interesting. Yeah, so I work for the State Health Department, um, and first of all, thank you to everyone out there for talking with the State Health Department when it comes to reportable infections and working with your local disease intervention specialists and contact tracers. Um, and just a little plug to everybody, uh, when you get those special forms from every state health department to fill out related to certain reportable infectious diseases, please do it because it makes our job easier and we get to intervene in certain infections and kind of improve public health for everybody. And our part at the State Department of Health and your part as health care providers is equally important. So thank you guys for everything that you do. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. So let's give this a shot. Got real with our plastic cups. Plastic. And oh, it's very blueberry. Yeah, it's a red wine with blueberries in it. It's definitely the smell of blueberries, fresh blueberries. Absolutely. Or like blueberry jam, but a really good blueberry jam. Yes. So maybe it would pair well with those. <laughs> It says it was like a semi-dry wine, so I think I was just expecting it to be drier, mm -hmm. but it's not. It's really not. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. You dig it. Smooth, um, and it has that little bit of sweetness. Yeah. What would you eat with this wine? I don't know. I don't think I could have steak with mm -hmm. something like this. I feel like this is something you would stick more with just a charcuterie mm -hmm. board and like mm -hmm. jams and jellies. And, mm -hmm. Big jelly. <laughs> Cheeses for sure. Crackers yeah. or some kind of like crispy bread, I yeah. think would be really good with it. You could probably have it with dessert, mm -hmm. I think. But like a cheesecake or something. Cheesecake would be good. Something that's like a little more creamier or richer. I would not put it with chocolate, I don't think. I think it's pretty versatile. Yeah. It is good. I'm I'm very happy with this. So Hardwick Vineyard and Winery. It's 11% alcohol by volume. And I think this was about $18. Yeah, we just found this at like a cool beer wine store in Salem. So that's um, French for grapefruit, I think. Um, we can talk about Salem a little bit. Um, <laughs> Salem has been super fun. My favorite was actually the Peabody Essex Museum. Salem exhibit about the witch trials, and I really enjoyed just kind of wandering around the museum. People watching has been interesting, that's for sure. Definitely the witch museum. If anyone's on an assignment in Massachusetts, in the, the Boston, Salem, Marblehead, like Lynn, the surrounding areas, definitely check out Salem. Um, even if it's not Halloween, it's still really beautiful here. Um, and, uh, yeah, maybe check out this winery and, like, there's a lot of great breweries around here, too, which we will probably talk about in A Beer with Atlas. I'm Ashley with two E's. I'm also <laughs> Ashley with two E's. <laughs> and happy belated Halloween. Cheers again. Cheers. Cheers. Dolan here from A Beer with Atlas, just reminding you to drink responsibly.